Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I'll be reacting ring to episode 12 of season 2 of To Your Eternity. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh god, he's so fine. <laughs> Please, give me the backstory on him. I wonder when they're going to show up. That's beautiful. So these two knew each other. Yeah, makes sense. To see myself. She's blushing. That's so cute. Or she could have just been hot on the veil, but I think she was blushing. Well, dang, you don't got to be rude yet. I think, damn, y'all know each other, but shit. <laughs> she never gives over the blueprints. Mm-hmm. And Google. Mm-hmm. Turn on you. 
Google. Nein, nein, bei Google. Yeah, I about making people's home. You, you are right about that. But Fuji. <laughs> okay, okay. <go. laughs> Okay. <laughs> he, he put baby he even benched. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, he so got up though. Oh, he cute too. The sad thing, cause you hurt, you broke your damn arm. Oh, he Jesus. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the guy that I already have a on, but seeing him again in a different outfit, like, oof. But jeez. Well, well, dang, you took his teeth for you put his teeth out. Why? 
why would you pull some a kid's teeth out? What the heck? So basically, he can ba he doesn't feel pain. He can barely really get hurt, like no matter what. That's how he has all those bruises on him. Bread. He can't know about bread? Oh, you can eat bread. Why? Is she is she sick? Because he gave, she gave her bread? Uh, right? He's dropping. Beautiful.
magic. A while? How long is a while? at like the once it's done then you should be good and then you don't have to work at the night especially for Fushi because Fushi possibly can only work for a certain amount of time once he's tired he's tired Uh. Exactly. So Fuji, no matter what, is the oldest. So shut up. <laughs> uh -huh. Fuji over here like, huh, him? this time
Excuse me. <laughs> I hate when something gets stuck in your throat. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> What's going on? <clears throat> oh, pretty. He does, but not like that. Okay. To all right, to learn the backstory of my crush in the show. Oh. Um, uh, it was good, but it was still sad. The fact that, you know, his first adopted mother gave him teeth so that he could finally have bread, which is one thing that he wanted. And I'm guessing the rule was giving him bread or just giving him the fake teeth for his birthday. And so they pulled out her teeth. And then they probably killed her. And, and thinking about that, that's truly sad. He really lost someone who was his mo his adopted mother first. And then <clears throat> had to have a relationship with a new person who he really didn't care about. He was just wondering where his, his adopted, his actual, you know, even though she was adopted, but still in his eyes, his actual mother. And so that feels bad. I feel hella bad for him. But now he is able to eat bread with her teeth, which is kind of gross. But different, yeah. Um, but learning about Masa and now his sister and that they're related and such. I mean, because like at the beginning of the episode, I'm like, oh, they're so cute. I can ship them. And then now knowing that they are related, you'd be like, okay, so the love that he feels for her is just a brotherly sister love. And it's not something that he wants to make romantic, Cole. But it's just a family love. He just wants to protect her and make her feel safe. Because that's the only family he has left. Now, oh, the wise man. Oh, oh, look at my baby. He's so pretty. Um, and now seeing Kamu and the two girls in this episode, that was very interesting, was not expecting them to be in this episode. I am mad at it. I'm glad that they were featured in today's episode and such. But it also, 
makes me wonder that when, excuse me, <clears throat> when the knockers do come and they do kill everybody, who is going to survive? Are those three going to survive and officially be a part of Fuji's army? We know who officially is a part of it. It's every guy who's currently, and we can say Echo as well, because I'm hoping she doesn't die. But because we are now officially at the halfway point, and I'm guessing the knockers will be coming in the next couple of weeks, anybody can die, including everyone in Fuji's army, which we know, like I said, about two, three weeks ago, I already got spoiled because I decided to look it up myself on the army, certain army members that, yes, they do die, and yes, they reincarnated and such. Um, <clears throat> biggest thing is we're hoping that, you know, Google, Pirna, um, no, no, uh, Google, no, Pirion is the old lady. Um, the one who was friends with March and any, everybody else who he's lost, we do get them back in the next couple of weeks because it's just, once again, like seeing, seeing him build the house that Google lived in. And the mask, like having Google's mask, like that hurts. His, like, oh my God, that hurts so damn much. And then like Echo with the mask, and I'm just like, oh my God, they just makes me miss Google so freaking much. Like I wish he was here, but and, and he, he's here, he's in our in our hearts and in Fuji's hearts until he gets him back. So get him back, please, Fuji. That's all I want. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode twelve of season two. I'm about to say Don Machi of To Your Eternity. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Matchroom Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday when I come home from work for <clears throat> episode 13. Bye, guys.